Well, it's cold, it's wet, it's windy. Although the wind has died, I seem to be in a little sheltered spot here. But it is cold, it is wet. But I gotta tell you something. Regardless of the weather, different, the litter mugs and daughter action are out doing what they do every weekend. Cleaning up, in this instance, the Whitestown stream. But if it's not here, it's Sean Walsh Park. It's the daughter and other little tributaries of the daughter. All the little streams in the area. But this morning, they're on a section of the Whitestown stream, which flows through this industrial estate here at Whitestown. So, I'm just gonna give you a look at what they're doing. What would we do without these great volunteers? And I'm not just talking about litter mugs and daughter action, but other groups, many of them throughout the country, who do wonderful work, keeping the place clean for the rest of us. So let's have a look. I'm just at one of the bridges here. Let's have a look over the bridge and see what's going on down below in the river itself. Okay, so I'm up above on the bridge and I can hear voices down below me here. So I'm just gonna have a look down. There you go. A couple of the girls working away, cleaning up other people's rubbish. And then in the distance up there, I can see what a guy to my right here coming through the bushes. I can see a yellow jacket, so that has to be somebody from litter mugs. And she's still picking up rubbish as she comes out. Amazing the things they pulled out of the river. Now there's somebody's bag on the wall, so I'm assuming they've gone through this gate to gain access to the river. Let's have a look and see. Oh yeah, and look at the rubbish already. They've only been here for an hour. And already in front of me, five full bags. And don't forget, a lot of this has come from hundreds of yards upriver. Back down to this spot. Now folks, I'm with somebody I haven't met before. Tell me who you are and how you became involved. Nina, my name is Nina McBristol and I came involved um, through Cara Coote. Um, I met her when we when we walked the dogs together down in Cherryfield, and uh, she saw that I was a sucker. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, just I was started off with the litter picking just around Cherryfield, and then she introduced me to the Dodder Action bigger picks, and then uh, then Stepping Stone Forest as well. Then through yeah, that, so I have Cara to thank for introducing me to, to all thank. Of this. Well, no, oh, I do. Okay, I do have yeah, because yeah, yeah. it is uh, it's dirty work, but it's 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 very rewarding. And also, unfortunately, very necessary. Very necessary. Yeah, yeah. it still shocks me. It still shocks me when I come out and I and I pick up things and I just think, oh my god, I can't believe people actually dumped them. They actually went to the bother of leaving their house and bringing it somewhere to dump. Like it's so unnecessary in this day and age. Yeah, yeah. With all the services available yes. to us. Yeah. Well, listen, don't work too hard. And thanks very much for saying a few words <laughs> no to us. Problem. Enjoy yourself. <laughs> Be careful. Yeah, well, that's, it. that's why I'm not in the water. I have a sore ankle at the moment. So. Hi, I'm Cara. I'm from Dodder Action. Uh, we're we're on, on blocking the bottle swamp. We were here three years ago and uh, it's now got blocked again. Badly blocked halfway up by a tree and then a full with a double bed. Now, Cara, I'm gonna, oh, we have Oscar with us as well. Oscar is sort of the mascot of the group. But the question I wanted to ask Cara was, why is it called the Bottle Bank? Okay, the Bottle Swamp. Oh, the Bottle Swamp, my apologies. The Bottle Swamp. We called it the Bottle Swamp because when we first found it, the stream itself is quite narrow, but um, it was like a small lake and it was just full of bottles. At some point, Michael, I must actually give you a photograph of the original Bottle Swamp. So that was three years ago this month that we were there. Okay, but I noticed I was down by the stream side a couple of minutes ago with the girls and I can see that there's a, a barrier there. What's that? What's the purpose of that barrier? We're, we've unblocked at the top, but we're, we have been working with the really heavy duty stuff. So we couldn't be catching all the small cans and bottles floating down. So we put up this barrier down here 
that will catch the debris as it floats down rather, rather than it floating on down to Sean Walsh Park which is just down below, below us here. Okay, that makes sense. So in actual fact you were the ones who erected that barrier, not the council. Oh no, that's a temporary barrier, we'll be removing that. Oh, okay, hopefully the problem will disappear with the barrier. What do you reckon? <laughs> no, don't think so. We no. have to be very careful though with any sort of barrier because you have to remember that kingfishers and dippers skim across the, the top of the water. So we, we can't impede their progress. We could do serious damage to them if we left that barrier up. Yeah, okay. So when, how much longer is it going to be there for? Oh, we'll take it away today. Oh, you take it away today? Yeah. Okay, so it's put up each time you go? This is our first time. This is on. Oh, okay. Yeah. But you will use it again to do the same thing, Definitely. yeah? Definitely. Although we've got through the worst of it. If I just show you, Michael, if I turn around, excuse the back of me. Oh, you're grand. Can you see the, the wet the level of on to my high -hydrate? Absolutely, yeah. That's how deep it was. Wow, you're a brave woman. And the, tr the stream should be down to about here. Now, final question before I leave you, Cara. Somebody suggested to me, and I thought it was a great idea, it's probably John Kybert, but I was thinking about it anyway. You saw the episode I did a couple of weeks ago with Waddick, yeah? Yes, I did. Well, I want you to promise on camera that you're going to do the same with me in a couple of weeks' time, yeah? Oh, look at the smile on her oh, face. Oh, you're a bold, bad man, Michael. I'll oh, yeah. Best. You will. Of course you will. And now I have the evidence, so you can't back out, okay? All right, okay. <laughs> Thanks, Carl. Right. Okay, here's John in his daughter action attire this morning. Yeah. And that's Amma alongside him. And we'll get Amma at a later stage. Good morning, Michael. Oh, another no, familiar... No, the flag in the, the another flag. familiar face. <laughs> And if I didn't know better, I'd say John Stanton was about to appear on the other side of the bush. John does great work removing all this rubbish. Good morning, how, how are you? So we had, so that, that was the first group. The second group went in here and started to collect the worst, very worst of the stuff that we were sending down. And then the heavy duty stuff is up here. Okay. Hello, Michael. Good morning, all. Good morning, our work. Well, you see, I want to prove just how special the volunteers are. <laughs> Coming out in all weathers with no regard for their own health and safety. So basically, as we walk to the river, we are actually doing things with our feet. So it could be cans. I just picked up a little bit of a doll's house there, and it's gone floating past me. Um, it's not. It's also in the silt, which is further up there. It's absolutely embedded. It's up in the, really up in the banks, and it's so hard because you think great. Like they just got a bed frame there that stuck and stopped the flow of the water. So one of the volunteers there was actually chest high, the water was so high because of the blockage. Yeah, Cara actually showed me the measurements yeah. on her horrendous, jacket. Horrendous. So it's like, it's a case of playing lucky, lucky dick here. You put this in and you just don't know what you're going to pick up. I actually picked a uh, needle oh, no. there in the water as well. And uh, thankfully there wasn't the... The, you know the shark part. You didn't get the there. sharp end, okay. The shark park, but, well, listen, uh, I'm going back up here to Cara, so you be careful there, okay? Uh, oh, no, there's somebody down there. I can see. Now, folks, you're going to see the real extent of the dumping that happens in this beautiful little stream. Look at this. People are so thoughtless. Now Michael, do you see where the mud is? Yeah. When we arrived this morning, that's where the water came to. You see, you see how shallow it is now? Uh-huh. We couldn't see that far bank. Wow. So when we went in, we were going in blind. Down there is the main cause of the problem. That had got jammed up against a fallen tree. 
and everything is then backed up behind it. So all of this rubbish has just come down from upstream and then got jammed. It's absolutely disgraceful. Yeah. It really is. Yeah. And we completely we rewilded this. This was fully wild again a year after we, we did the work on it. And now it's been destroyed again. Yeah. It'll come back. We found a frog in there and there are plenty of mallard around. Um, it'll all come back. Nature is very resilient. Absolutely. But sadly, your contribution today is only going to be a small part of what's required. There's so much more around the place. I mean, I can even see it on the bank over there. Oh yes, there's plenty more down there. But we've got the worst of it out, so we'll come back in a week now when it's had a chance to clear. You see, there's so much silt there as well. It's very difficult to actually work in the stream at the moment. You can't see what you're doing. So we'll let it clear a bit now and then we'll come back and have another crack at it next well, week. Well, as I said to one of the girls earlier on, as long as you work in pairs, you yes. know, not singly because you could be in trouble in there. No, 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 no. We, we work on the body method. Great stuff. Always well, listen, thanks yet again, Cara. Thank you, Michael. Look at the state of us. Oh, my God. Well, you got to admit, folk, you have to have a lot of respect for these great people and the work they do because look at the state of them. They're all soaked to the skin. People are so thoughtless. Look at the amount of rubbish. What would we do without all these wonderful volunteers? Not just the litter mugs and daughter action, but volunteer groups from all over the country who do this work, this unpaid work, volunteers, doing it purely for the good of the community. I'm in awe of these people, they're really amazing. Well, thanks again for watching Wildlife Wednesday, folks. I hope you enjoyed this week's episode, and if you did, I'd be grateful if you'd give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And when you do, don't forget to ring the bell so you're notified every time I upload new content. If you'd like to buy a copy of my safari book from sunrise to sunset, just follow the link below the video. Till next week, stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands and wear a mask where necessary while continuing to maintain social distancing because we're not quite out of the woods yet. Even me. <laughs> Take care, folks. Bye.